So what systematic reviews allow us to do is to bring together a large body of knowledge into a fairly short, manageable uh, piece of work that gives us the best possible guidance on the effects of healthcare interventions. Research had been done that looked at whether steroids were helpful in improving the maturation of premature babies' lungs shortly after they were born. The systematic review showed conclusively that steroids would save lives in premature babies. This has saved tens or hundreds of thousands of babies' lives. At the moment, it can take two, three years to complete a systematic review. So it, it sounds quite labour intensive, and it is. I was introduced to text mining in about 2006, six seven. And the promise of text mining was it would solve a lot of these problems for us. And we're starting to see some of the fruits of that labour now in using machine learning to make the systematic review process more efficient. Project Transform is an artificial intelligence project that brings together the technology that's able to manipulate and analyse data very efficiently and therefore allow the researchers to do what they do best, which is to understand the data and interpret the findings. What I love about all of this is that it's all about that partnership between the human and the machine so that we can then better direct human effort where it's most needed. So what we're doing now in development with Cochrane and the National Institute for Health and Care Excellence is building surveillance systems which identify research upstream as it's published. We're using the Cortana intelligence suite to enable us to develop and deploy these machine learning applications in the cloud. We've covered areas such as paediatric medication error, um, hepatitis C, lots and lots of work on healthy eating, obesity, physical activity. All of the hot topics of the day is what we get to work on. If systematic reviews can be conducted more quickly, that means that decision makers can be informed in a timely way, improving guidelines, improving decision making, therefore helping patient health.